Hola mi gente bella y bienvenidos a mi canal. My name is Sandra. If this is your first time here and welcome to my channel. In this channel, you'll be learning and I'll be speaking about everything high-end or luxury candle making business tips. So in today's videos, we're going to be discussing um, my previous video which talked about um, wick testing and which ones are the best wick to test for your vessels. So in this video, I am going to um, give you the test results on the actual uh, wicks that I tested for my apothecary uh, vessels and I also showed you how I had an actual array of wicks from HTP 72 all the way to HTP 1312. I had tested those and in this video I'm going to show you the actual results and I'm also going to have a few tips at the end of the videos in regards to wick testing and the results you should see per wick when you are actually testing those wicks so now so in that video again i tested htp 72 all the way to htp um, 1312 so in the first hour oh and i'm also going to have um pictures uh, well videos of the actual testing so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about and I also have a, um, the actual uh, vessels with the wig so you can see more or less what I'm also talking about you might not be able to see it correctly as I am showing it to you on camera but I will still show it to you just in case so again in the first hour all of the wigs um, did okay now HTP 12 12 and HGP 13 12 were smoking at the beginning but I wanted to give those two uh, wicks a try anyways now right at, right off the bat um, I kind of knew that HTP um, 72 through maybe uh, 93 were not going to be a good fit only because um, I use those wicks for my smaller vessels and um, anyway I wanted to test them um, anyway so testing is testing and we must test to make sure that our hypothesis is correct or incorrect so okay so the first hour went okay so obviously you know it's the first hour they're just burning just a little bit so and the second hour obviously none of them reach a full melt pool which is good you don't need them to fill um a full melt pool and a full melt pool i mean that the wax itself already reached the edges of the actual um vessel but htp 73 was beginning to mushroom now htp 104 um it had a little smoke um it may have not been center correctly despite the fact that I actually use a centering tool but you know it's human error so maybe it wasn't a center correctly and I say this because the actual milk pool was a little bit off to one side and it didn't um, reach the back end of the actual um, uh, vessel but then again I explained that a little bit more with my final five tips of how you are supposed to wick test your actual uh, vessels so um, moving along 105 performed better but it had a big mushroom um, mushrooming to me is not a big issue but um, in hour number two it shouldn't have too much mushrooms but a little bit is okay now 126 or HTP 126 was also mushrooming and it was smoking not a lot but just a little bit um, HTP 1212 and 1312 um, performed basically the same. Um, it had mushrooms, it was smoking, it had um, a bigger flame than the other um, wicks. And although 1312 wick split down the middle um, as it burned, um, both 1212 and 1312 did perform basically the same. They were a little bit too big for that actual vessel. Now, by the fourth hour, um, the wick 72 to 93 had all tunneled. Like, they were burning 
um a little bit too slow or too yeah a little bit too slow for that actual vessel they had a slight mushrooming um they also did not reach a full melt pool um they had an okay flame size but they were all too small for this vessel and i'm going to show you guys right here so you guys can see that um and also i have the the wicks which i'll show you in a minute so wicks 104 and 105 had a big mushroom uh they could have reached a full milk pool but it didn't and to keep burning them it would have created a bigger flame and more smoke so i decided not to keep burning them um htp 126 didn't reach a full melt pool but it was the one closest to the edge so if um i would have let it burn for another hour it would have gotten there um htp 1212 and 1312 had the same results um they were burning too hot too fast uh large mushrooms uh large flames and they were smoking a lot so um I would have tested these again for another day you know let the um blow out the candles let it re-solidify again and then do another testing but because i had already previously tested the same um uh wicks a few months prior to doing this one and i came up with the same results um i decided not to retest them for another day and i came to the conclusion that this series um was not it um htp 72 through 93 burned too slow they never reached a full milk pool 104 and 105 behaved um the same mostly um large mushrooms although 105 behave a little bit better than 104 but they kind of have the same type of behavior they have a big flame they were smoking and they also did not reach a full milk pool. Now, one, two, six behaved a little better than all of them. So, if I ran out of wick and wanted to use one wick in this vessel from the uh, HTP series, then the um, HTP 126 will be the one I will use or lean towards. But even then, I wouldn't um, want to uh, use the htp 126 because the results were not 100 percent in my favor now 12 12 and 13 12 uh yeah they were just too big for this vessel and everything you don't want your wigs to do it did except for tunnel they have very very large frames smoking up a storm burn way too hot and um i was like i need a better result for this wick and definitely for this vessel so in this wick series i thought this is not it i cannot use htp single wicking any of these in this vessels although one two six was kind of okay but yeah not so much so i was like well okay so i'm using like a natural wax i'm using the cocoa paraffin wax although it does contain paraffin it does have more coconut than paraffin so i'm like um cn wicks works well with um natural waxes so why not use the cdn series since the cdn cotton wicks um are smaller in comparison to the htp series so this might be a good alternative and plus i already used the cdn series to triple wick another one of my vessels i have and i had a uh, have a video on that one and you could see it down below i'll link it here and i'll put it up here um and i was like well since i already triple wick these so why not use them to double wick you know like maybe it will work so I was like, what do I have to lose, right? So I was like, okay, so I'll test the HTP 72 and 73 to double wick since it didn't work as a single wick. Um, and the apothecary uh, vessels and 
since it didn't reach a full male pool, might reach a full male pool as a double wick. So I also didn't use the HTP 83 or 93 to double wick because um, both of these wicks are used better for two to three inches um, vessels in diameter. And since the apothecary vessel itself was four inches, um, according to the FlemingCandle.com um, HTP wick guide, so I decided not to use the 83 or the 93 in double wicking. Plus, I didn't want to waste any more wax on these two uh, wicks. And since I kind of sort of knew that it wouldn't work, so I'd rather not test it. So anyways, um, I decided that I'll test the CDN 2 through 12 plus the HTP 72 and 73. Um, I'll double wick uh, CDN 2 to 6 and HTP 72 through 73 and then single wick CDN 8 through 12. So I'm going to show you what the CDN 2 look like. I mean HTP 72 look like. This again is a HTP 72. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm going to mark with my marker. I'll just put it on my nails where the milk pool was so you guys could see I don't know if you guys could see that okay so where I have the mark black markings that is where the milk pool reached even though I you know did this so you'll see that also on the video so definitely HTP 72 was not it and this is after uh, four hours and then this is HTP 73. Okay, focus, focus, focus. And again, I'm going to mark it with my pen. Well, marker so you guys can see it on the video. That it kind of didn't reach a full melt pool after four hours. So this was a little bit just too small for this vessel. Okay, this is HTP 70, I mean HTP 83, and then HTP 83, you can see by the black markings, we're barely there black marking because my marker doesn't really write very well in wax, that it didn't reach a full milk pool. Okay, this is HTP 93, yeah, HTP 93, and this is what it looked like after four hours. Okay, and then this is HTP 104. And this is the one that I was saying that I probably didn't center correctly because, and I think I mentioned this in the video that I kind of didn't center this correctly because you could tell that the melt pool reached more on this side than over here. You could see the black markings down on this side. So this right here did not reach a full melt pool. Okay, and this is HTP 105. Okay, and then this again did not completely reach a full melt pool after the fourth hour. I don't know if you could see that, but you know, I'm showing you just in case. And this is HTP 105. Kind of didn't reach a full melt pool. You guys can see that. Okay, and then for HTP one, um, for HTP one two six, it kind of re 
changed a full milk pool, but not really. I mean, it's was it was really really right there, and maybe if I would have had, what is it? If I would have had probably left it for another hour or two, it probably would have reached a full milk pool. But um, HTP one two six is the one that I was advising that it would work for this uh, single wicking this vessel. But again, it was mushrooming and, you know, the flames were just getting there, but it was not quite there. And then HTP, HTP 1212, um, this one kind of reached a full milk pool, kind of, sort of. But again, the flames were very, very high, so I wouldn't recommend this one and neither HTP 1312 okay and um, and you could tell like the actual um, the actual wax itself turned dark because of how much smoke was coming out and yeah you don't want that for your wick and plus it was burning kind of hot okay so then you know I had to test the CDN series plus the two HTP series that I thought was going to work for this actual vessel. So for the first hour, they were all doing okay. CDN 12 was performing like HTP 1212 when I first lit it, where it had um, the smoke coming out as soon as I, you know, turn it on or whatever. And you'll see it if I put it up. I, I'm not sure if I had taken a video of me lighting them up. I'm not 100% sure, but. I'll put it up here if I do have that. So by the second hour, they were all progressing. So City in two through four performed about the same, um, if not exactly the same. They were about the same, um, but you can see that from City in two, City in three, and City in four, you can see a progression of how the wick perform. Such as the City in two was probably about this size. CDN3 about this size and then CDN4 about this size of the actual milk pool. So you can see that the milk pool was a little bit bigger as it went from CDN2 to CDN3 to CDN4. Which is understandable because they are different um, um, wicks. And I could see that the bigger in wick size you go with the CDN2, 3, and 4, the milk pool reach a little bit more to the actual edge of the vessel. City in six was smoking a little. City in eight was just tunneling. Um, city in ten um, had a few smoking sessions, not too bad. And um, city in twelve was smoking a lot. So um, when you looked at the HTP seventy two and seventy three series, um, they were doing fine. Although HTP 73 was sort of a little bit uh, hotter than HTP 72. So again, CDN 6 was okay. It was smoking a little bit. Um, CDN 8 was tunneling. Um, uh, CDN 10 was okay. Not too bad. CDN 12 um, was just, you know, yeah, no, mm -mm. CDN 12 was not it. Um, but then again, City in 72 and 73 were doing okay. 73 was a little bit hotter. So I was like, okay, so maybe I should test it for a few more hours to see, you know, what's up. So by the third and fourth hour, City in 2 through City in 4, they were doing great. Um, City in 2 um, and City in 3 and City in 4 had very good flame size. And I'll show you guys here. Um, the burning was slow but progressive, which is good. This is what you want to see. Um, it also reached uh, the actual full melt pool by this time, and um, they were all performing very well. And if um, City and two, three, and four were your options, and you could choose any one of those three, but I will, you know, give you my pointers at the end. Now, CDN uh, 6 as a double wick is questionable 
because it was performing you know so so almost like HTP 126 as a single wig when I first tested the actual HTP series so um, and you'll see it in the actual clip that I have here or over here um, City and 8 definitely it's a no um, it definitely tunneled and if I would have double wick I think it would have probably performed okay but since City and 6 uh, was behaving so so I can probably safely say that City and 8 is not the size for this vessel neither double or single wicking um, City and 10 and also City and 10 did not reach a full melt pool so and I'll explain to you in, in about that in a minute so City and 10 as a single wick performed better than the others it still uh, had a few smoking sessions mushrooming but it didn't reach a full melt pool at the fourth hour uh, City and 12 had super big flames it was mushrooming but it also didn't reach a full melt pool by the fourth hour HTP 72 would have worked better at the double wick for this vessel although the HTP series burns a little bit too hot for my liking it was still a better option than single wick in this vessel with any of the HTP series so HTP 73 burned way too hot I mean like it was hot by the fourth hour the entire wax was completely melted and I could see the wick tab um, through the actual container and I'll show you guys here this um, in a minute since the HTP A10 12 did not kind of reach a full melt pool by the fourth hour um, I decided to blow out the other candles that had reached a full melt pool so two all the way to six and then I left eight through twelve to see how they would perform for an extra hour city and eight kind of forcefully filled um, the entire edge um, kind of reached to the edge of the container Although it kind of didn't reach a full melt pool, I wasn't convinced on its actual performance because it took so long for it to get there. So if you were to uh, blow out your candles, how City and 8 looked, and I'll show you this right here, you should not use City and 8 because if you don't melt it all the way, then it will completely tunnel. So if save your for um, if you're a person that actually melts your candles for an hour or two um, then city and eight will tunnel and if you blow it out and turn it on again and light it up again it will do the exact same thing and then you'll have wax all around your actual vessel and then you will only have the burning of the wax in the center and that's not what you want so that's why I said that city and eight forcefully reach to the edge of the actual vessel because I had to make it go all the way to like the fifth or even longer in order for it to reach a full melt pool and um, even though you don't need it to go all the way to a full melt pool but at least you need a level down uh, surface so that your wick when you turn it off and turn it back on it doesn't have that um, surface area where it didn't reach the melt pool because then that'll be the only place where it actually stops every single time and you don't want that so city and 10 did well and it did reach a full milk pool and um, by the fifth hour and city and 12 also def um, is a definite no for for this vessel it was just too much smoking the flames were way too big and it did mushroom a lot so um, I test burned all of the wicks all over again the following day and I came to the same conclusion uh, CD and 2 to 4 did okay um, actually CD and 2 did okay um, better than the rest uh, CD and 8 was completely tunneled after the four, uh, fourth hour so I do not recommend that that CD and 8 for this vessel and HGP 3 which again burned extremely too hot um, and too fast so double wicking for HTP 73 is not okay for this vessel so um, I'm gonna show you what I was 
looking at it and then I'll give you my conclusions. So we'll start with CN2 and CDN2 was double wicked. As you can see, I mean it reached a full mil pool. I can't show you that. I don't know if you guys could see that. I'll show you um, with the video, okay? Double wicked, which was great. And basically, and basically, uh, CDN3 did the same as well. If you guys could see that, like there's reach all the way over. Okay, CDN4 the same as well, and I'll give you my. results final results at the end about which CDN series to use based on my findings if you are going to be using CDNs for this vessel and the same thing for CDN 6 CDN 6 didn't do too bad but again it did mushroom and you know it, it has some issues that I did not see with CDN 2 3 or 4 so I wouldn't be using CDN number 6 for this container And then again, CDN 8 did tunnel. I put it in orange. I don't know if you can see that. I'll put it in uh, black so maybe you can see it better. I don't, I don't think so. My marker is not working that good. Okay, so maybe you could see that better. I don't know. But um, City and 8 definitely tunneled. I wouldn't use this vessel, well, this container, this wick for this vessel. Uh, City and 10, single wicking this vessel, City and 10 would be. You know a good idea so this will be CDN 10 and then this is CDN 12 it also reached a full melt pool but again it melts um, it kind of melted just a little bit too weird but it might be my error but still the flames were too high I mean you can see that here because obviously it's not burning but yeah, this one burned too hot. And then this will be the CDN uh, HTP72 double wicking. And then CDN73 double wicking. Okay, so. For the CDN series, double wicking, CDN2, CDN3, and CDN4 are okay to use with um, this vessel by CDN2 being the best. And um, you can use CDN10 if you want to single wick this apothecary uh, vessel. And you can double wick HTP72 if you have the HTP series or if the HTP series is your um, wick to choose, you know, the one that you really want to choose. Now, so we move on to the part of the video where we're going to be discussing my five tips to wicking and what to look for when you're wick testing. So the first one, the first hour, you shouldn't expect to have a full milk pool. And if you do run, not really, don't run, but if you do, then this wick is a no-no. Like, do not use it because it is burning way too hot for this particular vessel. So, in the first hour, none of the wicks that I used were um, burning too hot to the point where the first hour you'll see a full melt pool. So that was a good thing. But if you do get to that point, don't use that vessel 
with that wick because that wick is not gonna work if it's burning a full milk pool for the first hour now now what you should be looking for when you are wick testing is you should be looking for mushrooming is there a lot of it if there is none it's perfect if there is some it's okay but if it's a lot of it eh, uh -uh, not so good especially in the first hour now if it's progressively getting to mushrooming that's okay because obviously there is wick uh wax traveling up the actual wick so that the um wick could light that candle so um mushrooming is okay if it's an incremental mushrooming especially if it's not in the first hour two okay three you know four okay that's you know going up there but for the first hour definitely you shouldn't be seeing no mushrooming if you do run not literally but don't use it now second is um there are large frames so if there are large flames then you know this wick is too big for your containers don't use it because then you don't want to cause a fire if you are selling your candles and it probably would maybe more than likely possibly soot so large flames are no good um if the wick is burning too hot or too fast causing the vessel to get too hot to the point where you can't hold it safely from the bottom then this is burning too hot you don't want to use this actual uh wick for this vessel because then you'll run out of wax super fast and i'll show you that in a minute um another thing that you should be looking for is if there is smoke coming from the wick um you don't want that although there can be cases in which it does come out um i mean especially when it's the, it is the first 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 burn the wick and the wax combination especially if you are doing it with fragrance you know everything has to bind together in order for every, everything to work together but if you are in hour number two three four five six or whatever you are testing your wicks for and you see smoke coming out um it's too hot don't use it that's not a very good wick therefore this will cause soot so if you don't want soot to um, appear in your candles then try to avoid wicks that will cause flames uh smoke actually too early on when you're testing your actual wicks um the next one is if your wig is the correct size for the vessel you should look for that if your wick is not the correct size for your vessel then you will know it right away because then you'll get tunneling and you don't want tunneling that's another another uh, criteria to look for when you are testing your wicks if it's um that means it's too small if it's too big then you'll have that large flame like i said before um if the wick burns too hot to the point where the wax has completely melted and you can see the bottom like htp 73 and i'll show you this again here um yeah you don't want that wick because it is burning way too hot and way too fast you don't want that especially if it's been less than four hours and all of that smoke not smoke and all of that uh wax melted all the way through you don't want that that is burning way too fast and way too hot or um the next thing you should be looking for is after you blow out the candles you let the candles solidify again and then you compare your candles and see that there are some that has way less wax than the others then that's a good indication that this wick is burning too hard for this vessel and it is not a good fit for this vessel size and i'll show you guys right now so Okay, so I know I told you guys that the CDN 2, 3, and 4 all performed exactly the same, but not really. Okay, so then I'll show you what I meant by not really. I mean, between the CDN 2 and, and 3, you don't really see the difference, but um, 
when you put them side by side, you could tell that the Cydian uh, 2 burns a little bit slower than the Cydian 3. And they're about the same um, size uh, wax in them. But you can see the difference between Cydian 2 and Cydian 4. Yeah, 4. Okay, you can see that the Cydian uh, 4 burned a lot more than the Cydian 2. Okay, maybe my hands are not all the way the same. I don't know. Okay, but this one burned a more than, there's a lot less wax in this one than in this one, if that makes any sense, because this one burned a little bit faster than CDN2. So you can see, that's why I like to use um, the series of waxes so that we could all compare which one is performing better than the next. Because if you would have done this one at a time, you wouldn't see the difference between how much wax is left in each container if you weren't doing this all together at the exact same time. And I'll show you CDN6 and CDN6 is definitely, like you could definitely see the difference between these two because this one definitely burned uh, hotter and faster than CDN2 and the same goes for CDN4 and CDN3. And I wanted to also show you CDN uh, HTP73, which you could tell has a lot of soot around the actual container. I don't know if you can see that, but it has a lot of soot around the container, which means this was burning way too fast, way too hot. And you can totally tell how much wax, because they were all filled up to the top, and how much wax had already um went through this wick versus HTP 72 which has about the same amount of wax as HTP 2 3 and 4 so this one burned way too hot so this definitely is not a good size uh wick for this container if you double or single wick it and this is what I was saying about um how waxes you should note down how much wax is left after a few hours and they were burning about the same time well actually the same time so yeah no mm -mm. 73 definitely a no-go for this size and then again htp 72 um what you said htp this is city and 10 yes city and 10 and city and 2 um, City and 10 single wicking is a lot better because obviously you have more wax in the container than City and 2, but these two work. So if you have City and 2 and you want to use City and 2 because that's all the wax, uh, that's all the wick you have, then City and 2 double wicking will be very good for this container. As and if you want it to burn down a little bit slower than City and 2, then City and 10 will be a better fit for this container because it did burn a lot slower and you can tell by the amount of wax left in CDN2 and the amount of wax left in CDN10. So this is another indication that if you are wanting to have a slower burning wick in your containers then you can compare and contrast um, the actual wicks that work for the containers versus the wicks that does not and these two Although they both work, but this one burns a little bit faster, obviously because this has two wicks, and this one burned a little bit slower because it only had one, but it, they both performed well for this vessel. So, my numero tres tip is by the second hour, there should be progress from the first hour to all the way to the fourth or how many hours you're going to be burn testing your actual candles so if by the first hour when you get to the second or hours or whatever at least 50 percent of the wax should be at a different point from where you noticed it an hour or two or at least closer to reaching a full melt pool then that is what you should be looking for at least it should look different 
from the first hour to the second to the third to the fourth floor you know whatever hours are you test burning your wicks for so if it still looked exactly the same then either this wick is way too small or the wick is just way too big usually when the wick is way too big then the wick is going to be burning way too fast and way too um hot for that vessel and if it's performing very very slowly then you'll see that it starts to tunnel and there's no progress from the beginning of the hour till the second third or fourth instead of it going out it's just going down and you don't want that and that is what um, cdn 8 looked like and also my fourth tip is if your wig is off centered the milk pool will be leaning towards more to one side at first um that was htp 104 i don't remember um i can't remember which wick was off centered i think it was htp 104 where yeah i think it was htp 104 where um it melted more in the front than on the back and that's because you can see all the melt pool reaching this way and not that way as if it was melted on an angle but my table was you know straight as it could be but um yeah so and it kind of looks off off center if you look at it i'm not sure if you guys could see that it's not completely in the center so then the melt pool will be leaning towards one side as opposed to the other also notice that there are wicks such as the htp series that does curl as it burns and this seems as if it is weird or if the wick itself is not working properly but um this is normal for the htp series and there's also other wicks that does the same thing as well as they burn they'll have like a little curl as they burn and this curling shouldn't impact your wick burning correctly so you should not um worry about that and neither should it affect your milk pool what i mean by the wick melt pool leaning to one side is that if the wick is not centered in the vessel just like i, I just showed you with the htp uh, 104 then you'll see that no matter how many times you burn that candle the melt pool will not reach the other side because the wick is not centered properly but htp 104 uh, does not work for this vessel because I had already previously tested it before and it did the same thing So although this one here was not centered hundred percent correctly But it was not too off centered that you wouldn't be able to know that HTP 104 was not going to work for this vessel So my last tip and this is my tip numero cinco is there might be times where the wick itself splits down the middle as you test burn your wicks um and if you don't trim your wick after every burn this will occur and if you burn your candle for several hours this will also occur now it will not affect the milk pool but you should avoid this as it can continue to split as it burns and then um the wick will not perform correctly also the major indication that your wick splits down the middle is that the wick is either too small for the vessel causing the wick to try to outperform itself or the wick is too big for the vessel causing it to work as it should but is doing too much work for a vessel that doesn't require that much work so um those were my five tips sorry that this video is kind of long um if you have any other suggestions any other questions let me know i hope you guys learned something very good with this video it did take me a while to get this together but it was worth it and it also helped me because i was so into trying to make my htp uh wicks work for this vessel but htp itself did not perform how I wanted it 100% and I didn't want to make a wick with I wanted to make a vessel with this wick that did not perform 100% how I wanted it to so that's why I did the CDN wicks and I'm glad that I did and I'm glad that I had that in hand that I can actually um, test this give you guys my opinion show you what I did so you guys can know 
how to properly wick your vessels and plus the tips at the end which actually helped too so if you guys have any other tips if you have um suggestions for me let me know let me know if you use the apothecary can uh vessels and if you do let me know which wicks that you use for this vessel and which one work for you so let me know down in the comments down below which one works for you and don't forget to like comment and subscribe so that you'll be aware of all my upcoming videos and also other people other candle makers will enjoy this video if you give it a thumbs up so give it a thumbs up and it will help the youtube algorithm and other youtubers find my video so hasta la próxima bye mi gente bella